So again, that's a uh, parry that I'm doing there, which is not always so easy to do. I'm doing fairly well, actually, for this fight for once. So the advantage he has is a nice kettle hat for taking downward blows, which I favor downward blows a lot. As you can see. Well, how do I do? You're still on your feet. Unlike the other fellow, here's your money. Let me take a look. So now we've got a double curse, actually, which is very good, actually. And plate chassis. I might have butchered that word, don't kill me. <laughs> you may notice that this menu system resembles oblivion. Maybe you're getting a hint of deja vu while looking at this menu system. And if you can hear that sound, I'll be quiet for a second. Pretty similar to Oblivion, yeah. But definitely you can see he's starting to shape up as a knight. He's getting more and more good equipment. Which is winning too, which is really nice. I can't very really see it very well, but it's definitely nice. We're still going to borrow armor for this fight because the armor gets damaged quite quickly. I'd like to try that too. You have to put up at least 10 groschen. If you win, you get it back and something on top. We're going to be ballsy at 30. 30. Are you sure? Don't spare me. Go very I want to work up a sweat. You can borrow armor for the fight. Sure. Why not? Yeah, currently in this alpha, if you're ever having trouble defeating the enemies, you can just push them outside the arena in order to win. Can't you do any... Looking for more? Can't you do any better than that? You'll... You'll die! You'll die! Had enough? Give up! You'll die! Oh. And you can... you can have get bleeding damage as well. Which is quite realistic. You can see he's panning very heavily. He's taking a good few blows. And you see very nice realistic leather on their armor too. We're gonna push him out. See? So you can win that way too. How do I do? My god! I haven't seen the likes of that for a long time. You gave him Come on, a let's get hide. stuck in! Here's your money. We're gonna see what we got. So see, we've got a bastard sword as well, which is uh, basically like a hand and a half sword. And uh, definitely really nice to have this. Again, to own all this. Really starting to shape up as a knight, and we already have a lot of money. See, because we won, betted a lot in that fight, so certainly have won a lot. Yeah. If I can. Ah. Actually, take a look at this. This is a map. Very so, nice as you can map. see on the map, the game world is going to be huge uh, one, once the full version is released. Yeah. All this that's in darkness, all is going to be the world. It's going to be a huge open world. This game is going to be at least a 50 hour game. Just insane. Maybe more, maybe more. Yeah, maybe more. You know, if you're doing all the side quests and everything and replaying, yeah. it's going to be a huge game. Definitely worth buying. Check it out.
The map is pretty close in size to the likes of Skyrim or Fallout 3, so it's definitely going to be a big map to explore. Mm -hmm. We're going to check out uh, our tree over here. Now when the crime system's in place, you lockpicking, you will not be able to get away with like this. be a tutor around here. I'd like to try archery. And who's stopping you? I can just go and do it? With your own equipment, as long as you don't break anything here, then fine. At least I'll see what you're like. Is it possible to earn a groschen or two shooting? Maybe. If you've got a few coins, I can try and find someone who's not on patrol who can show you something. Great, let's get to it then. You're full of piss and vinegar. Can you shoot at all? So you can be very cocky or be honest, which is the truth. I completely suck at archery and I have But I learned this. quickly. I'll try and find you someone. Are we on? Everyone gives me five groschen each. I keep one, and the first shooter with 20 points gets the rest. Sure. So, get geared up, stand by the fence over there, and I'll run and get someone. Get ready. Go! I figured out the horse button, but uh Okay, I seem to not know the controls. Oh I guess we could show you horseback riding. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Hey, you there! Nice try. Pity it didn't work out. Try again sometime. I'd like to shoot again. Great. At a target or logs? Logs. Fine. Should I try and get better archers or worse ones? How does it work? If you leave me your whole share, I'll find you some beginners. So you better fucking try and win, and we can only get away with a few times, too. If you want to compete with the best, they won't shoot for small change. The ante will be double, and so will my share. I don't feel like experimenting. Let's stick with certainty. Fine. If you have everything, stand by the fence again, and I'll run and get some people. Great. Okay, so we're gonna see if we can... Get ready. There's a button to get the uh, weapon out. Go. Okay. And now we can show you some more training.
You have to keep in mind wind direction, a lot of different things. It takes a lot of stamina to draw the bow. Yeah, another thing when they were developing this game, they did motion capture for all the archery that's shown in this game too. That's why you see his arm shakes a little bit. Yeah, so archery definitely takes some getting used to in this game. And it's def you definitely have to be more skilled to be good at archery in this game. Uh, in comparison to other games like uh, Skyrim. Yeah, as you can see, I have no idea what I'm doing right now. And I am not going to be able to hit a single log. If I hit one, that'd be amazing. I bet five Roshan, you hit. Oh, shoot, maybe it's... I have to aim at the left. Oh, that one was pretty close. Was it? I can't tell. No, I really don't know where I'm supposed to be. There's not really a crosshair, so I have no idea. It's not like Skyrim where you have a crosshair, you have the luxury of a crosshair. I really can't tell where I'm firing at all. Jeffrey, try aiming below the target. Oh wait, oh was that? That was close. Okay, almost. I think it cancelled it out because it knew I was cheating. I was trying to get like right up to the target. But let's see if we can hit this at point blank range. We did it. That counts. That totally counts. Amazing. Someone grunting, but let's see if we can hit one of these guys. <laughs> Damn! What's wrong? Keep going, guys. You're doing great. Oh, this hair on my back. Don't worry about Take it. That! Don't think. Hit them while they're distracted. Yeah, as you, as you just saw there, enemies will realistically react to where you hit them. And blood hey, will stop splatter dancing and start fighting. in their arm if you shoot them in their arm. Yeah, tons and tons of fun just doing that. Show you the uh, horse riding. What's his life? Why am I in this world? A horse! A horse! A kingdom for a horse! What is life? What the eternal struggle? Finding meaning. My kingdom for a horse! Don't My wife gave me the soup. It's cold. I have no meaning. <laughs> what is life? 
The saddest man in the universe. Don't seem to be. Oh, I have to totally unequip this. Yeah, I. Yeah. Definitely very, very nice leather. You notice I'm holding forward, but it automatically moves the camera around for me, which is really nice. As you go over terrain in this game, uh, the horse will move with the terrain, so it's really realistic how the horse reacts with the environment in this game. I think there are some cumins around here. Yeah, as you saw there, the horse can all jump uh, according to the terrain, so there's no worry just about getting stuck in an area or the likes of that. Yeah, your, your character pants a lot. Yeah, if, if any of you guys have seen The, the Reverend yet, uh, with Leonardo DiCaprio, your you guy kind of sounds like that. Yeah, that's a, uh, that, that's a, sum that's a summary of the entire trailer, just, just, just heavy breathing and moaning. Yeah, that movie is kind of like poor Leonardo DiCaprio gets hurt, and he gets more hurt, and he gets more hurt, and he gets more hurt. Actually, if you, and if you guys haven't seen that movie yet, we highly recommend it. Yeah, the music just cued and that means there's going to be a battle up ahead. These are the Koomans. Should be another one around here. You can loot their bodies, which is always great. They have great stuff. You can take their gear, which is kind of like Fallout 3, actually. Oh! So definitely very well armored. But not strong enough. It'd be funny if you could, uh pick them up and dragged all them around, but I don't know if there's anything like that if I'm coming in the future. Yeah, definitely very nice. Definitely mysterious if you come across it at night time. It's very, it's like pitch black at night time, so you really need a torch at night time. It's really realistic lighting in this game. Yeah. 
Now they have some shields here. I don't know if in the future they'll let you actually grab these shields or if they're just for display. Because it would definitely be nice to take that sword, those shields and everything. Not just to look at them. 